Welcome to All Levels Yoga Practice. My name is Betty. I will be your guide today in practice. Um, I'll be here offering you lots of choices and options for movement and breath today. And your role here is to lead your own practice. Make choices that are going to support um, the breath support your body and what you're needing this evening. So I'll be offering a lot of choice. Please make choices that are right for you. Um, even if I'm not offering a choice that works for you, please feel free to explore poses, postures, yoga shapes in ways that work for your body and your space. So just remember lots of good ways to practice yoga, asana postures. So um Please make those choices for you today and welcome. So glad you're here. I see, I think Kathy popped in. Welcome. Yes. Good. Ah, it's Angie. Hi. Welcome, Angie. We're just getting started. We're going to be doing a more flowing practice this evening. If holding poses feels better for your body today, you're welcome to hold poses. Um, We'll be doing a little work focusing on hamstring tips, and we're gonna, I'll try to cue some extra support for the neck in some of our postures this evening. So welcome. We are going to get started. I'll invite you to come down to lying on your back on the mat. And we'll begin if it feels good with the knees bent and the feet grounded. Sometimes this position is called crook lying because the knees make a little crook, um, but you know, knees bent, feet grounded here, head centered, and you're welcome to just rest the arms where it feels comfortable. Sometimes it feels good to draw the shoulder blades underneath you a little bit, maybe center the head and just soften here on the mat, noticing the points of contact your body is making on the earth, feet grounded, Maybe you're feeling the back of your hips or pelvis on the earth. Maybe the backs of the shoulders and head. You might feel the hands, the back of the hands or the palms resting on the earth. Taking a moment to mentally scan the body. Use your awareness to notice what's here and bring awareness to the breath. So bringing our attention into our practice, maybe an inhale breath here, any way that's comfortable, maybe in through the nose, and an exhale breath, maybe out through the nose. Inhale breath, And exhale breath, maybe three more grounded breaths here, bringing our attention into the body and breath. Inhale for three. And exhale. Maybe two more breaths this way. And one more grounded inhale and exhale. And I'll invite you to bring the palms to touch, thumbs towards the heart center. We'll be, do a little flow here on the mat. We begin with an open of the arms to a cactus shape or maybe even a T shape. Good, and then the arms drop back to heart center, palms connecting. Right knee draws in toward the chest. You might wrap your hands behind the leg, on top of the knee, whatever feels good. And then right knee lowers. Left leg, then the left leg comes in. We wrap behind the leg or on top of the knee, left knee in, and then grounding back down. The arms open to that big cactus or T shape once again. And we close to heart center. Let's add some breath. If you choose, sinking breath and movement. Inhale, open the arms, feeling the heart center expand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, ground the foot. Second side, inhale, left knee in. Exhale and ground on the foot. Inhale, 
spread open wide of the arms and exhale close to heart center let's flow again inhale big stretch out of the arms exhale to heart center inhale option to draw forehead to knee as the right knee comes in exhale and ground down second side inhale forehead to knee if you choose as the second side left knee draws in and ground down a big inhale breath cactus arm t arm exhale hands to heart center let's flow through a couple more times inhale arms open exhale to heart center inhale forehead to knee exhale ground everything down exhale second side forehead to knee exhale ground inhale open up big stretch exhale to heart center one more round if you choose head grounded or lifting your choice inhale open to a t-shape or a cactus arm exhale to the heart inhale right knee in head lifts or not exhale ground down. second side inhale left knee in head lifts or not exhale ground and inhale a big stretch out to the arms cactus or t and exhale close at heart center space pause here for a moment Sometimes it can feel good on the neck or a nice release if we take a slow motion look from side to side, like you're shaking your head no, but in really slow motion. Sometimes that can feel like a nice release for the neck. If you're feeling some tension there after picking the neck up. And then maybe centering the head once again. We'll draw the arms to that cactus or T-shape and then an invitation to drop the knees over to the right in an easy spinal twist, easy spinal twist here. And then knees come back to center and drop the knees over to the left, spinal twist, second side and back to center. Now you're welcome to keep the feet grounded here or you could tap the toes on the earth feeling of firmness or a drawing in of the abdomen. And we drop the knees to the right and center. Drop the knees left and center. Now you're welcome to stay here or you might bring the legs to tabletop, really feeling some strong engagement through the core. Inhale, the knees drop toward the right. They might not touch down to the floor and back to center and then left again the knees might not touch down and center and now any option feet grounded toes tapping legs and tabletop you're welcome to add some breath inhale to the right your version of spinal twists exhale center inhale left exhale center maybe two or three more rounds at your own pace with your own breath here, your spinal twist. Inhaling and exhaling, head and shoulders grounded, easy on the earth here. And maybe one more right and left, your version of spinal twist here. And then grounding everything down, we'll meet in a big full body stretch, hands and feet lengthen to opposite ends of your space or your mats. Reach out through the fingers and toes, really spreading them wide. And then maybe curling the fingers into a fist and maybe curling the toes a little bit. And then a big stretch out, fingers and toes fan as wide as you can go. And we'll do that two more times. Fists with the hands and curl the toes. And then a big fan out of fingers and toes. One more round. So curl the toes, maybe make fists here. And then a big fan out fingers and toes. 
and then softening, just release the body to the earth. The arms can be down by the sides if that feels better. And you might come back to that crook lying position, knees bent, feet grounded, and pause for just one moment here, maybe two or three grounded breaths. Sensing back into the points of contact the body is making on the earth. Noticing the flow of breath. And when you're ready, we're making our way to a tabletop hands and knees position here. Tabletop hands and knees. Hands grounded under the shoulders, knees under the hips. This is a, an opportunity to grab a blanket or maybe fold up your mat if you'd like a little extra padding under the knees or wrists. And here in tabletop fan, your fingers, you could tuck your toes under if that feels better. Otherwise, grounding the tops of the feet down. We're rounding up to a cat stretch. So the head and tail curl under the body. You might even come up to the fingertips here for a little more stretch. And then releasing down cow pose. So the belly drops, head and tail lift, maybe a lift of the chin. Imagine the shoulders drawing down from the ears. And here, maybe a gaze slightly down towards the mat might feel better for the neck as well. And then a round cat stretch. And extend cow pose. Adding some breath, an inhale breath here. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round to cats. Inhale, cow. And coming back to a neutral tabletop, hands and knees, some options to explore. You can tuck the toes under and feel a firmness or a lift through the abdomen and then float one or two knees up off the mat. And you might stay here in that tabletop, or you might push all the way to a down dog. So the hips lift up and back to that upside down V-shaped downward facing dog. So it might be a hover and tabletop, might be a down dog. Here in this posture of choice, take a breath or two. And then we're grounding back down to tabletop and maybe to a crocodile pose or a child's pose. So crocodile is lying down on your abdomen face down, the hands layer one right on top of the other and we rest the forehead down on the hands. Or child's pose, hips sink back towards the heels, knees together or wide, arms can stretch long in front of you or down by the sides. Take a breath in a resting posture here for a moment or two. And then we're coming back to tabletop hands and knees. We're putting together a flowing sequence that uses our hovering tabletop or our down dog. Let's try it together. We're gonna round or take an inhale breath first. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. And now exhale to your hover tabletop or downward facing dog and exhale breath to your hover or down dog. This could be a child's pose or a crocodile pose as well. We will all eventually meet there. So you might pause for a breath here and then head to a child's pose or to a crocodile pose, your choice. One breath here, maybe an opportunity to roll the wrists. and heading back to tabletop. So exploring those options in this flow sequence, we'll flow through a few times. Inhale, breath, prepare. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, hovering tabletop, down dog, child's pose, crocodile, lots of options here to explore. A breath in your pose of choice. Then grounding the knees back down. 
It's an inhale breath here in tabletop. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, your pose of choice, hovering tabletop, down dog, child's pose, crocodile. Here for a breath, an inhale and an exhale. And meeting back in table, maybe flowing through, through two more times. Inhale, breath prepare. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, your pose of choice for one breath. Inhale and exhale here. Meeting back and tabletop for an inhale breath. Last round, if you like, rounding up cat stretch on the exhale. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, your pose of choice. And we're holding this time for maybe three to five breaths. So this could be a hovering tabletop, could be a down dog child's pose or crocodile pose here for three, here for two, and one. We'll all meet here on our abdomen face down in crocodile pose. So the hands might layer one right on top of the other and the forehead rests down on the earth. Let's pause here for a moment. Take an inhale breath, an exhale breath. And then here in this crocodile pose, I'm gonna invite you to bring the hands down by the shoulders and drop the shoulders down away from the ears. We'll do a little bit of cobra with some neck mobility work here. So we're gonna lift the heart center away from the earth. And I'm gonna invite you to turn your head and look over your right shoulder as best you can. Then back to center, gazing at the mat. Then looking over the left shoulder, just as best you can, range of motion that feels good, back to center and then ease yourself down to the mat. This could be a rest of the forehead on the hands if you choose. And then resting the hands back by the shoulders if they're not there. Imagine as if your fingertips are glued down to the earth or sort of sinking into the earth and Pull the elbows gently back toward the feet. So you feel the shoulders sort of drop away from the ears. Then allow that drop of the shoulders to lift the heart center away and feel a really long neck here as best as you can. And then an inhale and look to the right. Exhale back to center. Inhale, look left. Exhale, center, and then ease yourself down. So you can take that same variation, um, sort of elbows drawing back, or you can stretch the hands long by the sides and the fingertips start to reach back. We're lifting the heart center away from the earth. So fingertips or elbows stretching back. Take an inhale here, exhale, and then turning the gaze. Inhale, turn right, shoulders from ears, exhale, center. Inhale, look left. Exhale, center, and then easing on down. Lovely. From here, we're coming back to tabletop and pausing for one moment here for a breath, just as a transition. And I'll invite you to walk your right leg forward between your hands. So right leg forward between the hands, setting up for a lunge pose. So it could be knee over ankle here, knee over ankle. We're getting into the hips a little bit more. Before we get into a lunge pose, we're gonna do a stretch. I'm gonna turn to face you. So you're gonna stack, my right knee is forward, stack your left hip on top of your left knee. Good. And we're stretching the left hand up. So 
I'm going to mirror you. That might be easier. So left hand stretches skyward. And then we're going to reach over and away in a side bend here. So right knee is forward. And I got my left hand skyward and I'm reaching over to the right. Taking a few breaths here in this sundial pose. As you breathe, you're sent into a long stretch from the like almost the belly button down to the front of the hip. That's your big psoas muscle. And it runs from the low back all the way down to your hip muscle, big muscle. And it's um, stretched when we stretch the spine and the hip. And that's what we're getting going for here. Hip flexor stretch action. Let's move out of that and pause for a breath. And then an invitation to stretch your front leg a little bit long. The hands could reach down to a block or to the earth. I'm going to use a block here to support my stretch. You can flex the foot if you choose or leave it relaxed. We're just going to hang out here for three breaths. Here for three. Comfortable stretch here through this front leg. You'll notice my front knee is a little bit bent. Yours might be a little or a lot bent. Here for two. And one. So let's add a little bit of flow to this stretching movement. So we're coming back to our sundial. So right knee over right ankle, left hand to the sky. Inhale, breath. Exhale, we lean to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, we're grounding the hands down and stretching the front leg. Inhale back to our lunge and left hand to the sky. Exhale, lean in sundial pose. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lengthen the front leg folding over. Maybe two more rounds this way. Inhale. Lunge pose here, left hand skyward. Exhale, a lean sundial. Inhale back to center. Exhale, long front leg, holding over. Maybe one more round this way. Inhale back to your lunge, left hand to the sky. Exhale, and a lean in sundial. Inhale back to center and exhale, folding forward, long front leg. And just take a breath here and we're moving out to take on the second side for the, so walking that foot back around to tabletop. This could also be a down dog if that feels like a good transition for you. And then walking the left foot forward around to lunge. And now we're stacking this time the right hip over the right knee. And so with my left leg forward, my right hand comes up to the sky. And I'll, once again, I'll mirror you here. So left knee forward, right hand to the sky. We're leaning over to the left here for a few breaths. Once again, sensing into maybe a long stretch from right the about the belly button all the way down to the front of the hip, getting into the hip flexor, the psoas muscle. Here for just a few breaths. Here for two, maybe one more breath in this sundial pose. and easing out of that, an invitation to lengthen your front leg just um, to a comfortable stretch. The front foot could flex or you could point and relax the front toes, whatever feels best for you. You could use a block or two for support here or hands to earth. We're just gonna take a few breaths through the back of the leg. Here on that second side for two more breaths. For up to two, you move out when you're ready.
And here, allowing the head to be heavy, maybe a gentle nod of the head, yes, and no. So check in, the neck is relaxed and released here. And then easing out. We're coming back to our sundial lunge to take a little flow on the second side. So we start here, left knee is forward, right hand high. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, a lean to the left and sundial. Inhale, center. Exhale, front leg lengthens and we round over. Comfortable length here. And you can be bent as much as you like. Inhale, breath, back to lunge. Right hand high. Exhale, lean in sundial. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, long front leg. Rounding over, head release, neck relaxed as is possible. And coming back to lunge, right hand high and inhale breath here. Exhale, lean in sundial. Inhale back to center and exhale, long front leg rounding over. Maybe one more round here. Inhale breath, lunge pose, right hand high. Exhale, lean in sundial. Inhale back to center and exhale, forward fold, long front leg. Pause for a moment here. And then working our way back to tabletop, maybe back to downward facing dog, whatever feels like a good transition moment for a breath here. And then any way you like, we're making our way up to standing, any way you'd like to get there. So here in our standing, Pose, we will step our feet pretty wide. And I'm going to turn my right toes out facing toward the short edge of my mat. My back foot is parallel or maybe turned in slightly, bending in for a warrior two leg here. Front knee aligned over front ankle. So sometimes that knee wants to sneak inward. We want to align the knee over the ankle and middle toe. Arms stretch long in warrior two, maybe looking over the front middle finger here. <sighs> Pausing in warrior two and an invitation to purposely draw the shoulders gently up to the ears and then <sighs> dropping the shoulders down from the ears. Feel energy out through the fingertips, drawing the neck long. Here for just another breath. And then lengthening the front leg just for a moment, softening the hands down, roll the shoulders, forward and up, and back and down, forward and up, and back and down. One more big roll of the shoulder with an emphasis on the back and down of the shoulders. And we're heading back to warrior two. We're moving into side angle. So it could be hand to the top of the leg or forearm. This top arm stretches up and over. It might come all the way up close bicep toward the ear. You could roll your gaze up toward the sky. If you have a block handy, you could start to reach the hand down toward the block if that feels good. But we're hanging out in our side angle for maybe three breaths here. As you're here in side angle, send some energy from your top finger down to your back heel, almost as if your inhale breath could stretch the side body even more. Inhale, feel that big line stretch down through the side body. Exhale, soften here. Maybe rolling the gaze down towards the floor if that feels better for the neck. Inhale. Big side body stretch, exhale and soften. And if when you're ready, we're moving out, front leg lengthens back here. So rolling the shoulders forward and up 
exhale back and down. Maybe two more big shoulder rolls this way. One more big shoulder roll and maybe adding a little flow. So back to warrior two here with the arms stretched wide, energy through the fingertips, drawing the shoulders from ears. And then an inhale, tip into our side angle. Exhale back to warrior two. Option to lengthen the front leg here if you choose. Inhale, tipping into side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Again, option to lengthen the front leg. Maybe two more this way. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior two. And maybe one more round here. Inhale, side angle. Exhale to warrior two with the option to lengthen the front leg. And then bring the hands to the waist. And we'll just heel toe the feet together here. Walk the feet together, roll the shoulders, wobble the legs. Good. Taking a breath here, hands at heart center. Pause for an inhale breath here. Exhale breath. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. So remembering that expansion pattern or that sort of expansion heart expansion and close pattern we began on the mat with we're going to do it standing now so inhale open the heart to a t or a cactus exhale to heart center it's a balance now right knee towards the chest inhale exhale ground to mountain second side inhale left knee to chest balance pose exhale center. Inhale, expand the arms. Feel the heart center expand open. Shoulders drop from ears. Exhale, close. Hands to heart center space. Let's slow through two more times. Inhale, open through the heart. Feel a softening of the shoulders. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, right knee lifts to chest. If you want a balance challenge, you can round forehead to knee and ground down inhale left knee to chest exhale and ground down inhale open through heart center space maybe even lifting the heart and chin gently if that feels good and then exhale back to the heart one more flowing around this way if you choose inhale open the arms exhale hands to heart inhale right knee to chest Exhale and ground, second side. Inhale, left knee to chest. Exhale, ground. One more big open through the heart, shoulders from ears. Exhale to heart center space. Pause for a breath here. And if you like, we're heading to second side for that warrior two sequence. So we're walking the feet pretty wide. This time it's the opposite foot. So this time it's my left toes that point toward the short edge of the mat. And now my back foot is parallel or slightly turned in, bending into that front knee. Once again, that front knee sometimes likes to sneak inward, kind of draw it back. So the kneecap is aligned over the ankle and middle toe and arms stretch to a T. A lift of the shoulders up on purpose and then ah, softening of the ears away on purpose. Feeling energy through the fingertips, almost like water is being poured over your head, flows down the neck, over the shoulders, and all the way out, dripping off the fingertips. You are now a statue fountain of warrior twos here. Here for two more breaths if you choose. And two. And one lengthening that front leg if you choose. So this time, if you like, we are taking one hand up and over and bending the elbow. Doesn't matter which one because we're going to do both sides. Opposite hand reaches back. The fingertips might touch. They might not. The hands might even connect. Um, uh, but we're just going to gently press the elbows open wide. And maybe feel a stretch here through the shoulders here for just a breath or two. 
and then we're doing second side. So the opposite hand reaches up, elbow bends, the fingertips are reaching toward the mid back. The other hand reaches behind and up and the fingertips might touch, the hands might connect. My hands aren't connecting, yours might not either. We'll just gently press the elbows open wide and feel a stretch through the shoulder joints. Here for three, inhaling and exhaling for two. And one, unwinding the arms, heading back to our warrior two legs, side angle. So it could be hand to the top of the leg, forearm, the hand could reach down toward a block. Our back arm comes up and over, maybe even close. So the bicep comes close by the ears. And I'm gonna grab my block here. And here inside angle, see if you can sense into some energy here, some stretch from top fingertip all the way down to the heel. Maybe even bringing in some energy with that inhale, sensing into a little more stretch through that long side body. Inhale here for two more breaths. And maybe one more breath here. And easing on out of that side angle. Front leg maybe lengthens one more round if you choose of our shoulder stretch. So one arm reaches up, the elbow bends, fingertips are reaching toward the mid back. Back arm comes back and up around and the elbows press open here for a breath or two. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, maybe one more breath on this side. And then windmilling the arms. So we're switching sides. The other arm is up top and bending the elbows, reaching the fingers toward the mid back. Elbows open wide and we're here for three breaths. Here for two. And one unwinding those arms and we're heading into a little flow. Warrior two legs, an inhale breath and we're tipping into our side angle. Exhale breath back to warrior two, option to lengthen the front leg. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Maybe two more this way, inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior two, maybe one more if you choose. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, warrior two. And we're lengthening that front leg and heel toeing the feet together. Maybe rolling the shoulders, wobbling the legs a little bit here. And you're welcome to join me on a transition down to the mat or come down to the mat any way you like. I'm gonna step to the short edge of my mat and take a little inhale breath here, open to that T-shape or cactus arm. Exhale, hands to the heart and forward fold, bending the knees. And then stepping back with one and then two feet back to tabletop, back to down dog child's pose, crocodile, any of those postures here, anything that feels like a break, like a rest. And we pause here on the mat for a moment or two, whatever feels like a rest for you. And inhale and an exhale here. And when you're ready, we'll meet in tabletop for revisiting that cat-cow flow. So we'll take an inhale breath, exhale round cat stretch, inhale cow pose, exhale child's pose, down dog, tabletop, whatever posture feels good for you. And we're inhaling right back to tabletop. 
Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale to down dog, child's pose, or other posture of choice. One more round if you like. Inhale, breath takes you to the tabletop position. Exhale, round to cat stretch. Inhale to cat. And exhale to down dog, to child's pose, to crocodile. Any of those postures. This time we're here for maybe two breaths. Just a moment. And then if you like, you're welcome to come to standing any way you like, but if you'd like to join me, we'll make our way to tabletop and then walk the feet towards the hands for a moment here in forward fold, maybe knees bent a lot. And then you can come up to standing any way you like, flat back, round back. It'll be an inhale open to your cactus or T-shape and an exhale, hands to the heart. From here, I'll invite you to space toward the long edge of your mat or space, walk the feet out wide and heels in, toes out. We're gonna sink down into a wide chair stance. And you wanna point your kneecaps over your middle toes once again. So it might mean walking the feet closer together or wider apart. So sense into that wide chair that feels best for your body today. So working into the external rotators of the hips a little bit more. We're sinking in, hands at the heart center here if you choose. And just here for a moment, an inhale breath is a stretch to a star, big inhale. And then an exhale, sinking back into your wide chair. And once again, kneecaps here, pointing over your middle toes. An inhale and a wide star, a lengthen up. Exhale and a sink back down. Here, softening shoulders from ears, allowing the jaw to release. Maybe two more this way. Inhale, star. Exhale, wide chair. Maybe two more. Inhale, star. Exhale, wide chair. And you might choose to stay here in chair, or you might choose to pause and star. We're here for three breaths, your pose of choice. Wide chair or star for three. Here for two. And a one. We're all releasing out long legs and maybe walking the feet parallel. Knees bent as much as you like. And I'm gonna use my block for this one as well. You might choose to do so. We're forward folding. You can hinge at the hips with a long spine or you can round down. We're forward folding in a wide forward fold. So getting into some hamstring stretch, really lengthening through the back of the leg. Again, knees bent as much as you like here. And hands, the forehead supporting on a block, on the seat of a chair. Hands could be resting on the legs somewhere. And here, if your head is hanging, you might just gently take a shake of the head, yes. A shake of the head, no. To see if you can release any tension through the neck here, any holding or tension in the muscles there. Here in this wide forward fold for just another round or two of breath. And then when you're ready, we are making our way down to the mat any way you like, any way you'd like to get there. And we'll set up with um, our feet wide, knees bent, 
And the hands can rest behind the hips here on the mat for support. We're moving into um, what I call a Z-sit pigeon or a, a, a pigeon variation here. So we're gonna drop the knees over to the right and then knees point skyward. And we drop the knees left and the knees point skyward. So just a few more rounds, maybe adding breath. Inhale right, exhale center. Inhale left, exhale center. Maybe one more round to each side on your own. So working through the hips, the low back a little bit here. And then we're coming back, knees pointing skyward. And I'll face your direction so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. We're gonna drop the knees to the right. And this is where you can adjust. Your left leg could reach back further behind you. Your right foot or your right leg could reach a little bit further. You could use a prop underneath the hips if that feels better for your body, like sitting on a block or a blanket. And then you can start to explore the upper body or the torso position. So you could do, take a twist by walking the hands around the body toward the right, that feels good. You could also forward fold over the legs. So this is really an opportunity to explore what distance between the legs feels good for your body. What torso position feels good? Is it a twist? Is it a forward fold? Is it a combination of the two? Move into whatever Z-sit pigeon or pigeon variation that feels good for you. You might begin to feel some stretch through your right outer hip. You may feel some sensation through the spine and low back. Whatever experience it is, allow it to be a steady, gentle edge of stretch and sensation. make choices accordingly. Here, if your head is hanging, allow the neck to be soft, the jaw soft. Here for maybe four or five breaths on this side. Two more breaths, if you like. And when you're ready, easing on out of that. And we take a few knee waves side to side once again. So the knees wave over to one side and center and over to the other side and center. Now we're heading to the second side. So dropping the knees to the left or whichever side you didn't do before and we explore. So explore how far apart or close you'd like the legs to be. That would, what would feel best for you and what you need. Explore whether sitting on a block or a prop might feel good for your body in this stretch and explore the torso. Maybe it's a twist, walking the hands over to the left. Maybe it's a forward fold. Maybe it's a combination of forward fold and twist or some other position. Explore what feels best for you, what will meet your needs and whatever that sensation or that experience you're having, allow it to be a steady, gentle edge of sensation here and make choices accordingly. Settling into your Z-sit pigeon, your pigeon pose on this second side for maybe four or five breaths. If your head is hanging, maybe just allow the head and neck to release if that feels good for your body. Here for maybe two more breaths, if you like. Mm -hmm. 
And then easing yourself out of that stretch when you're ready. We are working our way down to the mat on our backs. For a big full body stretch here, hands and feet lengthening to opposite wall. And hugging knees into the chest. If it feels good, you might take a little rock from side to side through the low back. And then grounding the feet down for a bridge pose, just a brief bridge pose to open through the heart and the front of the hips, walking the shoulder blades underneath you, lengthening and centering the head, the neck feels long, and then press the hips skyward here. Pressing into the backs of the shoulders, the palms, and the feet. You're welcome to use a prop like a block under the hips for a supported bridge pose, so allowing the back of the pelvis to rest on a block. Here for just four or five breaths, if you like. We'll meet on the mat when you're ready. Maybe an inhale breath allows you to sense into some openness through the front of the shoulders and through the front of the hips. An exhale breath and a softening, maybe through the face. Maybe one more breath here and when you're ready, easing down to the mat. One more hug of the knees into the chest. Maybe a little rock from side to side here. And then a stretch into our final relaxation pose. If you'd like, you're welcome to take a traditional relaxation pose with the legs long, arms long, down by the sides. And the palms may be rolling skyward here. You just adjust the pelvis so the low back feels comfortable and center the head. And the eyes can gently close if that feels comfortable for you. Other body shapes or positions are welcome here. Side lying, lying in crocodile pose, face down, seated. Choose a posture that brings restfulness and ease, a sense of letting go for the body. If you'd like some support for the low back today, you might Bring some pillows under the knees or bend the knees and ground the feet. Here, letting go of the breath. Allowing a softening of the body. You might begin to use your mind to gently scan through the body. Notice where you're making contact with the earth. Notice if there are any places where you might soften and let go a little bit more as is possible. Here in our relaxation pose, we are allowing the mind to release softening into a space of quiet, of rest. For some folks, movement can feel more restful and still. And so you might choose that option as well. Whatever your choice, I'm going to be silent for a minute or two to allow you to practice your own form of relaxation. And when you hear my voice again, we'll be joining for a brief meditation and closing our practice today.
If you're ready, I'll invite you to begin to draw in some deeper inhales and exhales. And if you haven't already, bringing some gentle movements, maybe wiggling fingers and toes. And keeping the head and neck relaxed and grounded as you're able. Gently rolling to one side, and maybe pausing there if, for a breath if that feels good. And then with a sense of gentleness and ease, making your way to a comfortable seated position, if that works for your body today. And in that tall seat, we might join in a brief breath meditation. So we're simply focusing our attention on the breath here in order to bring the mind away from its usual distraction of thoughts and remembering and to-do lists. So as we inhale breath, we just use the mind to mentally note that's an inhale. And as we exhale, we say to ourselves, exhale. This can be silent or aloud. And inhale breath, we say to ourselves, oh, that's an inhale, inhale. And as we exhale, exhale. And that's two. We're doing maybe three more breaths this way, labeling the inhale and the exhale. And maybe two more. As we inhale, we label inhale. And as we exhale, we label exhale. Maybe one or two more breaths on your own here. And if you'd like to join me, you can bring palms to touch, hands at heart center, a gesture of acknowledgement for your presence, your energy today, for doing something for your own well-being, gratitude for your practice today. Thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful rest of the evening.